So now we're going to go to our next location. After Jermaine Jones, let's head to Ramos Removal, shall we? And of course, I'll let my boy Roy drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So Mickey Cohen or Jack Dragna stole the Army's surplus morphine, and they are selling it on the streets? Looks that way. But the mob wants returned customers, not corpses. Why haven't they cut the morphine? Good question, detective. This robbery happened months ago, right? The beginning of the year. So why are the proceeds suddenly turning up now? Another good question. But where does it get us? It's like asking questions in the middle of the movie. If you just sit tight and keep your yap shut, you'll find out what happens. We need to follow the evidence. She warned me once. She warned me twice. LAPD. We're here to see Jose Ramez. What's it about? Routine inquiries, sir. Can you tell us where we can find him? We missed him. He was in the delivery truck. Just went out. God damn it. Of course. He was driving the truck and he bailed. 11K calling. Let's go after him. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of narcotic suspects aboard a GM delivery truck. Commercial license, David Charles, 457. I'm trying to run him, run his butt out of the road. What does this lunatic think he's doing? Oh, snap! He's throwing furniture. Here, take this clown off the road. He's throwing furniture out here. Oh, shoot him! I'll try to bust his tires. Oh, he shoot the guy. Close steer him off the tar. That's what I'm trying to do, Roy. I'm trying to do that. Oh my God! I'm trying. I'm trying, Roy. We got another old cruiser with us. I'm trying to get close to him. Oh, oh! I got, got him. I got him. I got him. Uh, what else was in there? Oh, here, here. Give it up, LAPD. Jose Ramez, you're being arrested on suspicion of supplying illegal drugs, resisting arrest, and for malicious damage to LAPD property. Hey. Hold your horses. I supply furniture, not drugs. And that thing back there, that was an accident. Some furniture came loose. That's all. Save it for the DA, Chico. Keep an eye on him. We're going to take a look around inside. Oh my goodness, this is a big ass warehouse. So we're gonna look to see because this guy's trying to lie to his teeth about the surplus morphine. That's something. Can I jog? Oh yes, I can. It's like a, it's kind of like they made this furniture like a mace. That's interesting. Man, they got lost up. Oh. Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? I don't know. There must be a way through the back. I'm just making sure if there's not, not anything now I'm looking for. Welcome to Furniture no newspaper. Village, where taste comes to die. Sorry guys, I had an itch. <laughs> Alright, so... So this is definitely a furniture factory. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. And there's a pool of, of water. So we're following the trail. Crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. Man, Roy is talking that ish right now, man. Wait, let me go check over here, see if there's anything over here. Nothing over here? Alright. So, it lead me towards here. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. Oh yeah, these crates are blocking our way. There's something back there, too. There's a door, but I don't think we're going to get to the door. He told us to go up, so we're going to go up. Wow, this is a very long ladder. 
what are these boys doing here in in this um in this this factory man hmm there's something over there I'm gonna go over there definitely something over there oh it's a crane I definitely saw that this was blocking whatever whatever's back there so we're gonna get this Aha, uh -huh. so yeah, I already knew that this crane was gonna open take some crates up. So we're gonna have to put them somewhere so we that way we can get through there. So I'm gonna put it over here. So that's one. And the other one should get us to get past through there because we don't really need to open the whole thing, right? Let's see. Let me get this one. And that should be good. Look at that. That should be good enough to get through whatever's back there. And I think Roy should be able to get through there, right? There's a cold room in the back. Yeah, I already knew there was a cold room because why would the forest be wet? If there wasn't a cold room in the back. Alrighty, so that's all we had to do. Easy enough. There's a door leaning up here. Oh, it's just a balcony. Anything up here? Nope. Alright, so let's go back inside. Man, I probably should have gotten those those um, other questions right in that last episode, man. Probably could have had more details to this, but... Man, it gets trickier and trickier. Where the water's coming from. You're gonna want to see this. Oh my god. They have it frozen? They have it frozen in here? They have a lot of boxes in here frozen. Whoa, this is crazy. Help me out. You're gonna need a shotgun or a fire axe to- There's something frozen inside. Yeah, we already know what that is. And I'm gonna shoot it. Well, I'll be damned. It's a lot of syringes, man. A lot of sy sy syringes in here. This must be how they transport the morphine. And they keep it frozen in here so they don't go bad. That explains a lot. It's like Santa's grotto for hopheads in here. Ice. <laughs> that's clever. Better than popcorn cups, that's for sure. Look at it all. This is big, Roy. It's not small. Now we just need to get to the source. That's the only thing we have to find is who's supplying these guys these morphine syringes, man. This is crazy, and the fact that they keep it in a furniture factory and they have a freezer back there. That is crazy that they keep them cold. And that makes sense because if you if it hasn't warmed then it goes out quickly. Like the it won't be useful. So they played it smart. And put it in a freezer and it froze over time to make it into a block of ice. That's something. Alright, so now we're gonna have to head back outside. I did saw a table over there. I'm gonna go check over here real quick. Nothing. I heard music still. Yeah, there's music still. Hold up. Let me go back and check some something over here. Huh. The game is being a bot or something. Wait, hold up. Only the music is here. Wait, this. Oh, the music is over here. Oh, there's a newspaper over here. Oh, and a ledger. But before I do that, I'm gonna get this newspaper. That's good. There was a newspaper here. Mickey Cohen, heir heir parent to Bugsy Siegel. 
Cohen cries innocence on it as pol police begins in inquiry. New arrival set to muscle in on drug protection rockets. All right, let's see this cutscene. anywhere else to meet kid we like to choose our ground what is that supposed to mean huh? it's something wellington said at waterloo the guys who win normally choose where to fight we're we gonna fight kid the two of you versus my boys here i love the fight game i went a few rounds myself you and your friend uh he looks tough but uh i don't like your chances nah we don't have to fight mr cohen we have you an in infilate what the fuck is that some kind of steak it means my men are in cover, but that they can still shoot you. If those were my orders, you would all be dead now. Are you kidding me? This is a $200 coat. You got some balls. Kelso. I hope you didn't scratch the paint of my new Lincoln. Mm -mm. These guys are getting out of the dope business, Mr. Cohen. You'll have no more problems from them. The morphine is going to disappear back into the sea. Hang on. You're getting hasty. There's a lot of dough on offer here. Thanks for the offer, Mr. Cohen, but we are going to have to politely decline. After today, the morphine is no more. This isn't the way we normally do business. I'm aware of that, Mr. Cohen. Call me Mickey. Are you aware of the risk, huh? I'm giving it to you straight, Mr. Cohen. There will be no more morphine. We made a mistake and would like to back out gracefully. If you come after us, we will be forced to come after you. You've been polite up till now. So don't stop making threats. I don't make threats, Mr. Cohen. I'd like to thank you for your time. Is that guy your idea muscle, kid? <laughs> There's something you should know about Jack, Mr. Cohen. He kills six Japs hand-to-hand -hand with just a bayonet and a K-bar knife. His outfit, the Six Marines, killed over 100,000 Japs in three months in Okinawa, and he was in the thick of it. Those Japs are little guys, right? Yes, Mr. Cohen. About your size. Wow, Jack Kelso. Jack Kelso had that ready, had one of his his homies up there. Just to send them a warning sign, like, dude, if you don't cooperate, then you're lucky that my men would have shoot you guys right then and there. That's something. Wow. That's crazy. So that's our seventh newspaper. And there's something right here, too. Ramis removal. Where oh, it's a book ledger. And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Let's see. Blue Room. Blur ice, poor, poor bear ice. Oh, Marlin's name is in here too. One, two, three, four, five. And then the polar bear ice company. One, two, three, four. So we got Marlinati here. Marlinati is buying a lot of furniture. So Marlon Ali was in there, and then also the Polar Bear Ice Company as well. Hmm. I think we know why Ramez has been ordering so much ice. And we got everything. Oh, there's one of the trucks now. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run. Oh! Let him have it. Oh, this guy's running. Oh my god, this guy's trying to bail. 
Got him. Man, he tried to run and come back at us with a shotty. Not smart on that guy's part. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and Tech Services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bears. That's the next place, the next location that we're going to have to go to. The Polar Bear Ice Company. You already know I got to let Roy drive to this one, man. Man, that guy was not smart. He ran in there, somehow got a shiny. You know the way. You can drive. And he still died. Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind a little, let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. Looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? The factory is closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many janitors carry a gat? That's one way of announcing we're here. Man, that guy was trying to lie. LAPD, hands in the air. You're done, my friend. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Oh. Oh, the, we're, we're in a shootout. Come on in and get mad. I'm behind the door. Ah. Got that guy. Around here somewhere. All right. Throw out the guns. Let me get out of this position. Man, that that was a way to to welcome us with open arms. Man, that's something. Oh, oh, going gonna need this cover right here. Got him. Nice. Reload. Oh my God, that guy tried to shoot me right there. I got a shotty this time. Don't mess with your boy with the shotty. Got him. One shot, one kill. You know the deal, man. If you know that phrase when I say when I first started, man. Easy peasy. Got this shotgun. Come on, peek your head. Oh, one shot, one kill, baby. Uh, uh. Oh, he's not dead yet. Oh my gosh, I hit him with the headshot over there, but nope. Peek it again. Peek it again. Get in cover. All right, he, he's, he's not going down. I gotta get closer. I gotta get closer. Come on, peek it again. You're clear. Come on, peek it again. You're pretty brave. Come on. Just for Damn. Give me some oh, my shotgun ammo is empty. Give me that shotgun. Clear me some space here. I'm trying to look for the guy. Got him. Now where do we go from here? This side? They oh yeah, there's oh! There's a couple more guys here. Alright. St Throw out the gun. Stay behind. Boom! Get out of here! Keep going, keep going. I'm trying to Trying to look around. Pointing out the gun. Nope. Where do we go from here? What is this weapon? Is it a pickup weapon? Oh, we have a better gun. Nice. Oh, it's in front of us. Looking around. There's a door right here, but... There's nothing here. We run around. Looking around my area. Clear 
me some space here. Where did this guy went? Oh, there's something. Oh, there's a stairs there. Oh my god, how did I not see that? All right, we're going up the stairs. They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up. Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, heel. So come in. And you're dead. Let's have a look around. Now that we finally got some peace and quiet. Well, we took out all his goons. I had enough ice for one day. Until the scotch I pour myself as soon as we get out of here. Look at the crate. Oh, look at this. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. Wow. Well, well. Who would have thought that Roy Earl's hand-picked new partner would have turned out to be such a great case man? This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. There were definitely other stuff that I missed. <laughs> Definitely other stuff that I miss, man. Man, that was something. The Black Caesar. Four out of seven questions right, and we almost had all the clues. A dead kingpin means nothing without evidence and witness testimony to the to bluster the case. Oh, so we only had three wrong. Not too bad. I'll leave whatever cutscene is next to wrap up this video. I know this is a little shorter from the last, but I try not to make it too long for you guys. You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can. Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. 